Why is collagen so well known, especially outside of the fitness world? Let's talk about that. How's it going guys? My name's Richie Kerwin and today we're gonna to talk all about the protein collagen. What it is, what effects it has on your body, and if it's actually good for anything. If you've ever had a little wander around a supplement shop, if you've ever read the ingredients list of a protein bar, or if you've ever read through an article talking about anti-aging or skin health, it's quite likely that you've seen the word collagen. But what is it, and does it deserve all the attention that it gets? Firstly, what is collagen? Well, collagen is actually the most common protein in the human body. And this is because it's a major structural protein that helps form the structure of pretty much everything. Your skin, your nails, your connective tissue, your bones. Collagen plays a big part in keeping them and you all together. And that brings me to a really important point about collagen. It only comes from animal sources. You see, collagen is produced by animals and often extracted from their bones and connective tissue. So there is no, at least widely available, vegan collagen. Which is strange because I've actually seen quite a lot of products marketed as vegan collagens, which are actually a combination of amino acids and other nutrients thought to be necessary for the production of collagen in the body. The thing to remember though, is that these supplements won't have the same effects as taking collagen itself. Now, that said, there are apparently some new vegan collagen products that are coming on the market and are made using bioengineered bacteria and yeast, but they aren't common yet. So most of the vegan collagens available in the stores aren't the real deal. Another thing worth noting about collagen is that despite coming from animals, it's not a complete protein. So an incomplete protein is one that's lacking or low in one or more amino acids needed for the human body. Specifically, collagen completely lacks the amino acid tryptophan. On top of that, collagen is not very good at stimulating muscle protein synthesis or MPS. And this is the process our body uses for growth and repair of muscles after exercise. And that brings me to the question, what is collagen actually used for? So let's talk about the use most of you watching this video are interested in. Is collagen a useful supplement for building muscle? And the answer is no. Like I mentioned earlier, collagen is an incomplete protein and it's not good at stimulating MPS, muscle protein synthesis. That's one of the most important factors when considering a protein to use when building muscle. There are far better proteins available that are great at stimulating MPS and promoting muscle growth, like whey, casein, egg white powder, and even soy protein. These are often better and cheaper than collagen. So if building muscle is your goal, those are the better options. If I was talking about any other protein, this video would be over right now. But, and I genuinely don't know how big a but it is, there seems to be a couple of benefits to using collagen that science can't fully quite explain just yet. You see, you'll often see collagen supplements aimed at joint care and the skeptic in me wants to call You see, when you eat a protein, any protein, it all gets broken down into amino acids, which get absorbed and are then used by your body for whatever it needs, like repairing joints. By that logic, taking a really high quality protein, like whey, should be all you need, and in fact, should be better than collagen. But there are a number of studies that show collagen may be useful for reducing joint pain, if you suffer from joint pain. In fact, meta-analyses, or combinations of the results of a number of studies, found just that a reduction in perceived pain when taking collagen supplements. The thing is, scientifically, we can't explain why that would be the case. If it were due to the amino acids, any good quality protein should help. The other difficult to explain benefit of collagen is skin health. Specifically, we have another meta-analysis of collagen studies showing that they help to reduce skin wrinkles, improve skin hydration, and restore skin elasticity. And once again, we can't explain this by collagen's amino acid content alone. I know a lot of scientists that say collagen supplementation shouldn't work like this, but we have the results that say it does. From a scientific perspective, it has many people scratching their heads. In reality, we need more research to confirm the effects and to help us explain how they might be happening. So should you use collagen? Well, if your goal is muscle growth, then Absolutely not. There are far better proteins available. If you have some joint pain and nothing else has worked for you, or if you want to reduce those fine lines and wrinkles, you could at least try it out for a few months to see if it helps. If it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, at least you can say you tried. So did this answer your collagen questions? As always, if you have any more, let me know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe to the MyProtein YouTube channel for more great evidence-based nutrition information.